Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Gemini, welcome to your tarot reading for October 3rd to the 9th. Let's see what's on the cards for you for the week. I've got the nine card block here, Gemini, three recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome, oracles, all the tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. We have a lot of really intense energies here. I mean, you're coming from the tower, Gemini, but wow, Wheel of Fortune, Empress, Ace of Wands. There is a massive shift of energy coming you know, in for you. And I really feel the universe has been conspiring to clear the path for this energy. And sometimes that can feel chaotic. Um, whether you've been through this tower or you are facing it now, it really feels that it is having an impact on maybe the way that you're feeling about yourself or your life. And I think that's why I've pulled the self-love card as the first one here, Gemini. So it's really important for you to really come back to your self-belief and your vision for your life and realize that, you know, even when things are tough or, you know, there might be endings in our lives, you know, really, we need to think positive and really get excited about the new energy that is coming in. So I do feel that um, that the self-love is going to be extra important. And I've also got Believe in the Impossible, the blue moon card. So it really feels like there is a, a shift of fortune here for you. And Believe in the Impossible, like what is that impossible dream that you have for your life? And how can you line up with that? Because I think the universe is lining you up with it with this tower moment, Gemini. It is a big card of realignment. I have the Ten of Pentacles here as the lead tarot energy, and I also have the Eight of Pentacles here. Now, what this tower uh, actually um, signifies for many of you, I do feel we are looking at the ending or a completion of a higher commitment or marriage. Um, or for some of you, this could also be a long-term you know career or course of study I've got the Hierophant next to the Ten of Wands in the reading and the Hierophant really talks about you know big sort of like institutionalized settings or systems that does talk about marriage it does talk about traditional career so it feels like one of those really big chapters is coming to a completion for you now as a general reading for the collective so you will need to align it with your particular situation so I mean we have the Ten of Pentacles here and even though it's the Ten of Pentacles and it's like kind of, you know, the 
um, higher you know ending of that suit of pentacles it is often around completions in areas of stability or security for us so that could be you know we're needing to move out of the physical home that we have a completion of work or we have a completion of relationship here um, I'm not feeling that there is a monetary loss element here actually you know it could be quite good for you like this could even have been the ending of a career where there was a redundancy or a payout um, if you are going through the dissolving of a relationship, I do feel that monetarily it's going to be okay. But there is most definitely some work ahead for you to kind of go through this tower moment and get back on top of things. So the tower, you know, it talks about the, you know, the crumbling or the pulling down of that situation in your life. And it is an act of grace because the universe has heard your calls that, you know, there is something greater for your life here and is conspiring with you to remove you from this situation. So I kind of feel that there could have been an incident, there could have been a dispute or <clears throat> a circumstance, um, maybe a communication with the Page of Wands, some news where you've learned that the situation is completing and it's out of your control, okay, and it feels quite chaotic. You might feel like it's a fall from grace, but the universe is saying, no, actually, it is realigning you through grace because the situation you've outgrown or it is no longer a fit for you. So it feels like good news, but at the moment, it might feel very chaotic for you. You may also um, have children involved here. I've got two pages, page of wands and the page of swords. It was a relationship. Um, you know, that could be a concern for you as well. Now, I also feel with this page of wands here that, yeah, there is going to be some kind of communication here that is the, you know, the catalyst for those winds of change. You know, page of swords next to the page of wands for me is some kind of communication where, you know, it really does, um, it's the first thing, it's the first domino falling, it pushes that tower. Essentially, it is good news, though. It might not feel like it at the start, but it is good news, um, is what the cards are saying here, because the Ace of Wands is the first card in your focus energy. So, somebody involved in the situation may have had an offer. It could be you. It could be an offer of new potential, new passion. You know, the Wands is about something that gives us energy, that does feel aligned. And it's very early stages, though. So, it's like, you know, you know that the energy is there. It doesn't come in with a guarantee. But it feels like there is a new beginning behind this tower that literally turns the wheel of fortune, that literally changes your fate, changes your luck in a positive way because it sits next to the Empress. So you, you either had the news that was the catalyst for the tower or after the tower falls and that space has been cleared, Gemini, there is this new beginning here and Next to the Wheel of Fortune, it's the heart of the reading. It says, this is destined time for you to change timelines in your life, Gemini. This one is done and you are being redirected to where you're really meant to be in your life right now. And generally with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, we look to the cards around it, you know, which way is the luck falling? Well, the Empress is here. Coming back to believe in the impossible, the Empress is the energy that makes the impossible possible. She really wants to help birth your deeper hopes, dreams, wishes, and desires. And she can literally birth those creations into reality. She is a good omen when it comes to money and stability in that way, conception, children, and just that idea of maybe starting a new chapter, whatever it is that you are truly wanting to create, she can help you with that, Gemini. So I've got the, the Ten of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Queen of Cups down here. It feels like there is going to be a really big sigh of relief um, coming up for you. And it is when this is all said and done and complete, okay. Hierophant is Taurus energy here number five in the major arcana and as I mentioned before this stands for those higher level commitments or traditional career course of study and I just think that if you're honest with yourself Gemini the situation has been a bit of a heavy load that you've carried for a while 
it feels like there has been maybe a bit of a, a weight on your shoulders or a burden with this. Maybe you've had to carry a lot of the responsibility here and it just feels like, you know, now is the time that you get to take that heavy load off and go in your own direction. Sometimes the Hierophant talks about that traditional setting that has, you know, really held off those hopes, dreams and wishes because there's just been so much responsibility here. But it feels like with this new chapter, you are going to be able to choose, Gemini, what is in alignment with you, your truth getting back to your unique hopes, dreams and wishes that you want for your life and starting to take the steps and take the actions, you know, towards them. And for some of you, that might be that you're coming out of this job or this marriage or something like that. And then finally, like you can go to study or you can get the dream job, job. you can start that business or you can, you know, find that partner that's in alignment. We have a, a stepping into alignment past the situation. Queen of Cups is the final energy, and that's the energy of Cancer for me, but this is the energy of feeling really emotionally grounded, uh, making emotionally intelligent decisions here, and operating from a place of heart and intuition, and what's really going to fulfill you on a deeper soul level now, past the situation. Now, she really is the energy of the self-love and the nurturing in this situation, so that's going to be important here, and you know, not blaming yourself or others for the situation coming to an end. It's very clear that the universe is saying this had to happen. It's been conspiring to create the conditions and you are needing to surrender to that. Four of Swords is here and this is an energy of pause and recovery. So you might need a bit of a rest or recovery moment in order to do some grieving and establish your, your plan for moving forward. Yeah, moving forward. Six of Swords, isn't that interesting? Hierophant, again at the bottom of the deck. The Hierophant asks you to have faith. The Six of Swords is a big card of moving on, and it's moving on from an emotionally tumultuous situation. It is a, ne a necessary rite of passage, a necessary transition, and it is with a bit of a heavy heart. Like ideally, you would have loved to not be going through this Gemini and have and have the situation work out, but you are being called elsewhere. I also see two lots of three of swords here. There could be two big heartbreaks or disappointments here, or maybe you've you've tried for the second time to make this work and it hasn't really and now you are going into the unknown okay you it's saying that there is a lot of potential here and there is a new offer or opportunity for you but there's also an element of you know i'm stepping out of a a sense of safety and security you know where i had this family unit this career i sort of had this plan for my life and now i am going into a new phase where it's very very open but that is very exciting and the Wheel of Fortune is literally going to carry you to your next chapter and the Empress, you know, she is such a positive um, omen here to, to greet you um, through that fog that we see there. So believe in the impossible there, Gemini, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please do um, keep in mind that it's a general reading for the collective. May or may not resonate for you. Drop me a comment if you're called to share. I love connecting with you over there. And please do hit subscribe for me. That supports the channel and keeps the readings coming. It's been a pleasure to read your cards, Gemini. Do take care. Bye for now.